Park and there's one of our more varied clubs. So we really do have 8 to 80 in it, uh, which is good. Um, um, there's two ways to do kayaking at this centre. You've got one which is open hire, which is you come down, you pay £10, uh, £10 fee per person per hour, and you can take any of the kayaks out. Um, and the other one is like a kayak and canoe club. Um, you go on the water with an instructor. It's not as structured as one of our courses, um, but it gives you the experience, and you're going on as a big group. Um, so there's plenty of people to help you out and there's plenty of people to have a good laugh with. So when you walk in the centre, when you book on, what we'll do is we'll hand you a wetsuit. These wetsuits are nice and easy to put on. All you need to wear underneath is like your normal swimming costumes, your swimming costume or swimming shorts. Um, once you've got your buoyant aid on, if you then come back out to the wetsuit hatch, we'll give you a buoyant aid. This just helps to float if you go in the water and we use it for safety reasons. Um, and then you'll come outside, you'll meet your instructor, and you'll come and grab one of these kayaks. Um, the instructor will uh, assist you in picking which one you need for your size and what ability and what you want to do with it. Um, and then we'll go down to the water. usual session will run, they go out in the water, maybe we'll do a little bit of a warm up, so maybe that's just going up and down a bit or just sort of seeing what they can remember from last week. Ooh. It's really important to stay active, just let alone personal health, like physical health, um, so it keeps you fit, keeps you mobile, keeps your joints moving. Also mental health, especially being outside, um, gives you sort of time on your own, just like space out. Also for educational reasons, um, like the other week I had a kid come up to me and ask if uh, soft keys was heated, which to me is a completely daft question because obviously you can see the water coming in and out, out of it and it's an open space, um, but they thought it was a relevant question and they didn't realise actually down at the Keys there is a fair bit of wildlife. Now there's lots of fish you can see through the water, lots of birds, even got stoats. Um, so there's more down here than you actually think. It's important to keep the older generation active. Uh, to keep them mobile, to keep them fit, to help with sort of their mental health, um, and also to make friends. Like coming down here like on a Thursday, gives them something else to do, gives them a place to socialise, um, and also these sort of friendships, you find a lot of people that like, will go here and then maybe go for a pint after the club, or meet up on the weekend. Um, you tend to find that the older you get, the more stubborn you get, the less you'd want to make friends. Where coming down, taking part in activity, sort of forces you to sort of, sort of say, cool, can you help me do this? Or are you going over and help someone else sort of learn something a bit more difficult, like a more tricky manoeuvre? Uh, so it gives you something more to think about.